Hey guys, what's up? I uh, to Tron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next live on War Day video. I'm gonna try to catch some attacks from the Reddit Alchemy War. Uh, you can see so far so good on this one. We have uh, the advantage here with a few less attacks and a few more stars. Uh, they've kind of started to uh, take some shots at our, at our top Town Hall tens. Not much success. I believe these are all dip attacks, but none of them got the three star. As well as their Town Hall ten going up for the two star didn't work either. Um, so really good job by all our bases doing the defending and then uh, they're getting some of our nines uh, Some of them are still left up so they should be cleared But it's just a matter of how many attacks it'll take and if they'll need to use any dip attacks which will take away from uh, Hitting some of our top bases as far as what we've done. We uh, Kind of the same story on their top bases. We've had a few fails to two star these bases and then um our dip attacks, both the ones we've used so far, uh, did not work. So uh, not the best stuff there, but you know we still, I think, um, have a slight advantage because our Town Hall 9s have been killing it. And it uh, looks like there's going to be three, four, five, six bases left. Um, as far as how many attacks we have left, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I guess maybe not the cleanest, but it uh, looks like if everyone kind of, you know, digs in, does their job, these are cleanup attacks on the Town Hall 9s. We should be able to get them all 3-starred with our Town, our town Hall 9 attacks alone, uh, which in these wars is very crucial. So hopefully that will be kind of the case. And uh, yeah, it's an exciting war. I have two attacks left. Um, and I probably won't record them live, to be honest, just because of the uh, importance of them. I want to do it on my iPad and... Uh, the recording is kind of iffy on that, so probably won't record them, but if I do get some three stars, you'll probably see them on the channel in one way uh, or another. But yeah, this is the CWL, uh, is what it's called, the Clan War League. We're just doing a bunch of uh, wars every week with different clans. Then we have kind of a playoff system, uh, so it's kind of like you know NFL, pretty much any sports uh, league, uh, pretty much any sport. You have a regular season, then the playoffs, so... I'm looking forward to uh, to this. It brings an, like an extra an extra component of uh, excitement and pressure, which is all good stuff to the to the attacks to the war. So that being said, I won't talk too much. We'll just go ahead and sit back, wait for a few attacks to go in live. Probably some town hall nines finishing up, as well as some town hall ten attacks and possibly a town hall eleven. So let's just see what we get. I'll be right back. Okay, as soon as I hit the uh, end record button, someone went in. So quickly going back here, I think I'm a tad late, but for the most part, we're catching this attack. Uh, looks like it's a go La Loon, so good stuff there. Um, dropping down the two golems on each of those mortars. This guy has all four of his mortars in one location. But looking at this base, I think if he gets some, uh, you know, his kill squad in there, he can get a few air defenses. Uh, looks like the jump should let him into the queen because she is next to that air defense and then kind of from there go in with the Laloon. So we'll see how this shapes up. His golems are taking quite a bit of damage before they enter the base, but the base is uh, relatively compact. The CC is really offset, so we'll see what's in there. I don't think he's lured it out yet. Uh, there's the queen, and uh, yeah, dropping a few archers just for those random buildings up there, uh, which is good. The king going in, uh, the funnel was kind of difficult because it's such a small compartment, but he actually got everything into that compartment, which is awesome. That jump spell should not let the king outside the base. It doesn't look like it quite extends that far. So um, archers needs to get that poison down and probably a poison. Yeah, the double poison's good. Uh, that should slow down the CC troops, get them taken out. Pops the king's ability. He's going in for a few of the CC troops. He looks like he's going to go down before the queen goes down, but with his own queen's ability, he can just pop that right here and take out that air defense, take out the queen. Not going to get a whole lot of extra value that he might have been hoping for, but he got the essentials, the CC troops, the two air defenses, the queen, plus maybe one or two uh, buildings of value for him. So here come the balloons. Has the uh, first two lava hounds coming in. Pretty good timing on those. As soon as the first one explodes, has that second one covering the air defense, using some hastes and then a rage at the bottom there for those wizard towers. Everything's moving through the base really quickly. He has balloons cutting across the middle, which is good. Uh, I like how this one's looking so far. Has one more balloon left up, probably for that wizard tower. Uh, yeah, right there. There it goes. Good placement. Maybe a little bit late. Has a haste spell. A little bit off on that, maybe. It doesn't get the main group of balloons. This one might be close, but that last lava hound, I don't even know where that came from. I guess a CC lava hound. I thought he was out, but he did have a lava hound left, which will tank for that expo. Uh, 50 seconds. Hopefully, he can get the job done here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he has troops all around the base. 
I think he has enough to get the three star. These Dark Elixir drills are scaring me a little bit, but I think that he can get it. 30 seconds, nothing in the corners it looks like, uh, just besides the stuff on the right side here. The uh, Lava Pups are making their way around. The Archers alone won't get the uh, buildings taken out down here, so he's going to need some help to come over from those uh, Lava Pups, the Balloons. I don't know if he's going to get this, actually. The Archers are making their way over. They're now in a group of three. But still, I'm not sure if this one drill right here is going to go down 10 seconds. The Town Hall is not look like looking like it's going to go down either. Um, yeah, I don't think this one's going to be a three-star. It's going to be so close, but no, he's not going to get it. Um, that Army Camp plus the drill, plus the elixir store, uh, collector. So maybe a few goblins, because uh, they might have been more effective than the archers at taking out those uh, those resource buildings. I would have used a few goblins, but really nice try. We'll back out. Um, we'll say nice try, and looks like we're being attacked as well. Um, but looks like a 98%. Hopefully someone can clean that up with probably the same plan, to be honest, just a few tweaks. Um, I think that should get the job done. So anyway... Uh, good try there. Um, a little bit disappointed, but we'll go ahead and back out, see if we have some more attacks, maybe some more Town Hall 9, some higher level action as well. So nice try to Puka, and that was Puka, right? Yeah, nice try, and uh, we'll, we'll wait for the next attack. Okay, just got into this one as I walked back downstairs. Uh, so kind of a little bit late, but looks like we're not missing much, actually. Uh, just started. You can see he has some, uh, this is Boss OG, has some baby dragons for the funnel. Looks like he's doing just a straight-up hog attack uh, with two, three golems, I think. Yeah, some bowlers in the CC. The golems aren't exactly going in the base, and he still hasn't dropped one of those golems yet. There it goes. Uh, and that other golem's rerouting back in. So everything's moving in, but because the golems are kind of like far back, the king goes out in front, uh, he goes down. The bowler's making their way in under the rage. Looks like the golem's finally getting out in front. So needs those guys to tank for uh, the bowlers, the queen. Lava Hound in the CC. Uh, the queen's going to have to deal with that. Might take a little while. Has the poison down just for when it pops. So that's good. Um, looks like he... I'm not sure how he's going to get over to the defensive queen, though. Because uh, there is a, uh, a layer of walls in the way. So we'll see how this one ends up going. The queen is still up. Um, still has... <clears throat> excuse me, still has the uh, Lava Pups kind of hanging around. The jump spell actually wore off, trapping the Queen in that small compartment. This one's not looking good so far, but if the Golems manage to stay out in front of the Queen, he might be able just to kind of fight his way forward to that Queen compartment. He, I guess he can kind of start deploying a few hogs at this point, maybe on some of these outside defenses, because he has probably enough hogs to take out the base. The only problem is the Queen is still up. So we'll see if his Queen locks on to her. That would probably be pretty helpful. Um, doesn't have any wizards or anything, so time is going to be an issue very soon. Because, uh, yeah, the queen's going to go down right here, unfortunately. This one's going to be a fail, just because that queen is still up. A uh, bunch of skelly traps pop in. Has that heal, but this guy is well equipped to defend against hogs. Um, has a bunch of spring traps in good locations. Uh, there's a giant bomb. Looks like just a single bomb there. But the queen should probably deal with all his hogs. Only has one heal spell left. There's probably a few giant bombs up left as well. <clears throat> Um, so nice try to boss OG. He'll run out of time if nothing else, but looks like the hogs won't make it through the base. Uh, I'm not sure what the plan was to get you know into the queen because there was a number of walls he had to go through, and it looks like he only had one jump. But maybe he he was hoping the king would do a little more work for him. Just the golems were kind of late because of that. The king went down so early, and then from there just couldn't quite uh, make his way through the base, and the queen takes care of all his hogs. So we'll back out. Um, Bunch of fails so far for you guys, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. We will uh, kind of just hang around and wait for the next attack. See you guys in just a moment. Okay, here's the next attack. It looks like we have some Town Hall uh, 10 action, very early Town Hall 10 action, but Town Hall 10 action nonetheless. It is the arrow, and he's coming in against their bottom uh, Town Hall 10, so a face-off of the bottom Town Hall 10s here. Looks like he's bringing a... Uh, a hobo, or not a, there's no hogs, uh, it always gets me, uh, bow laloon, yeah, pretty much just bowlers in a laloon with a golem out front, so a go bow laloon, I guess, uh, just letting his bowlers make their way in, my only concern is that everything's kind of spread out here, the bowlers might go down, although he does have a heal spell, so, uh, that should keep the bowlers up, even though the infernos are kind of locking on to them, uh, the king is down, he probably needs to get that queen taken out, I'm not sure where the balloons are coming in, 
I don't know if he has a Lava Hound either. I'm not sure if he was trying to get all of the air defenses taken out. I was actually looking at this base and I thought you maybe could do that and not have to bring a Lava Hound, but it looks like things just went down. I'm not sure why. We might even take a look at the replay of this because everything happens so fast. Uh, gets the Inferno, but yeah, this one's not going to go for anything. Uh, just I'm not sure what happened. He had a lot of bowlers, but I think things are too spread out. Your bowlers need to be closely compact and tight together, if that makes sense. Once they start wandering out in different directions, they seem, for whatever reason, just to go down a lot quicker. So we'll take a look at the replay, see if that's kind of true. Um, he'll get a few more buildings taken out, a few more defenses, but this one's definitely not going to go for a three-star. Nice try. Um, I think the, because I was thinking about this plan too, but it looks like maybe some giant bombs got him as well. I can see a lot of explosion marks on this base. Uh, we'll actually take a look at the replay, if assuming no one else is going in live, and uh, see kind of what could have been changed. But um, if anything, if nothing else, he's revealing some of the uh, the traps, the CC troops, giant bombs uh, for the next attacker who should be able to three star this base because it is a fairly low level town hall uh, ten. So we'll back out here, uh, make sure no other attacks are going on. But nice try. I guess we'll have to wait till he's done to look at the replay. But nonetheless, I do want to see the replay because I, I kind of missed what happened almost. So we can kind of talk through it, uh, see exactly what can be learned from this attack, uh, really. But um, he might have a few like lava pups or wizards or something uh, making their way around. Yeah, has a few minions, but she'll let go. Uh, or maybe not. Okay, so nice try to the arrow. We'll give him a nice try. Um, but yeah, the 4040s would help. Um, I might try an attack like that soon that I'm planning. Uh, so you guys will probably hear about how that goes. Let's take a look at the replay real quick. We can fast forward through certain parts of it. I just want to kind of see what happened. Uh, Golem goes down, Lava Hounds, or not Lava Hounds, uh, Baby Dragons for the funnel. Maybe not necessary to bring the Baby Dragons. I didn't quite, you know, see <laughs> again, but... Uh, sometimes you can, you know, only bring a few wizards and kind of save some troop space. Anyway, though, some Teslas pop up, so the golem goes down really quickly. Maybe it was the CC troops that took out uh, the the bowlers. Uh, they kind of get spread out here. The infernos get on them as well, kind of negating the heal to a certain extent. Some giant bombs going off. Um, that balloon's kind of hovering above them. Yeah, the bowlers just kind of run out to in front. Yeah, too much in front. The bowlers are not a good kind of frontline troop. They're kind of good behind in a in a small, compact group, uh, kind of all doing damage at once. But when they get too spread out like that, they seem to go down really quickly um, for whatever reason. So nice try to the arrow. Uh, we'll back out it once again. And doesn't look like we have any other attacks going, so I will hang out, and we'll see if we can get some more attacks for you guys. All right, guys, that's actually all we have for today. Hope you liked the live action. Uh, you'll see the recap of this war on the channel, along with some of the other uh, other videos on this war because it was an awesome war. Uh, not going to give anything away. You have to wait to the recap in other videos for that. But I uh, hope you guys liked the live action, like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.